since he wore purple all the time, could we pop legally call him the Grapist? Why everyone going with the Mephisto theories? I was like, mm -hmm. no. When I think of like goals, she's goals. Welcome to the Happy 616, the Marvel Family Podcast. In the last episode, I, Tori Nader, won the Spider Man trivia game. So I'm now hosting this Yay. episode. <laughs> Huzzah! Yes, applause. Yeah, yeah. Mark <laughs> Ruffalo! Uh, uh. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> well, I mean, if you like this episode, please like and subscribe. It's free! And uh, feel free to join our Discord. Uh, link in the description, correct? Yes. Okay. <laughs> I'm not messing this up. Join it right now. Stop the video and join it. Do it. <laughs> Do it. Now, uh, Black Cat, uh, also known as Felicia Hardy, is a pretty common character to appear in the Spider-Man universe. She's a classic femme fatale, sexy, clever, and intuitive, and not to mention pretty freaking strong. Uh, she constantly takes advantage of her good looks and, uh, you know, stature. Uh, needless to say, <laughs> she's one of my favorite Marvel characters. Hell yes. An actually empowered, strong, sexy woman? No way. <laughs> Yeah, uh, I mean, why doesn't Marvel take advantage of that? Join us <laughs> as we chat about her origin, her iterations, powers, relationships, and her arcs. Yeah! Woo! I was first introduced to Black Cat, um, I think, in the uh, spectacular series of the Spider-Man mm -hmm. show. That's good stuff. And I was like... Oh man, who is this chick? And like, you know, like a, I thought she was just like a villain of the week, but then I found her appear more and more. And uh, so far, my favorite appearance she's been in is uh, the '90s Spider-Man show. Oh yeah, that was my oh, first introduction, actually. Yeah, yeah she has same a here, bigger actually. role in that show than yeah. I realized. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Some good stuff. Yeah. Now, I didn't actually know uh, her origin. I mean, I, I did some research before, but not. I'm not saying before this episode. <laughs> just came yeah, out. Right, right, right before we started recording. No. <laughs> I remember, <laughs> I'm like, I want to know more about her. Because, like, I was hoping, you know, to see her in uh, the uh, MCU. And I was wondering, mm. like, okay, so the MCU is, like, confirmed 616 now. So, uh, I typed in, you know, like, 616 version of Black Cat and found her origin that way. Hmm. Oh, there you go. Yeah. Yeah, which, yeah the 616 uh, thing, that, that's a whole other debacle uh, right now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> There's a whole family in there, too. A whole family? <laughs> whole family. Yep. Happy family. <laughs> well, uh... Happy only. Yeah, happy only. Her uh, her origin is actually uh, her dad actually started as Black Cat, and then uh, she suffered from an ex boyfriend, uh, an assault from her ex boyfriend, uh, and so she trained herself in uh, various martial art combat, uh, you know, different fighting styles, and she's uh, an acrobat, and then uh, decided to follow in her father's footsteps and adopted the identity of Black Cat. And I think she pulls it off way better than her dad. <laughs> it's true. Uh, you know, Walter, Walter Hardy is getting done. rusty in his old age. You know? <laughs> yeah. And I'm it glad... doesn't exactly help if you have to have, bring your walker to bank heist. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting too old for this. Felicia! <laughs> Sweetie, come help your daddy! <laughs> <laughs> now, what I didn't know uh, was that I, I, you know, I also did some research before the episode, you know, today. Um, so she was first introduced, actually, in The Amazing Spider-Man, issue 194, published mm -hmm. in July of 1979. Mm -hmm. And she was originally 
supposed to be a foil to Spider Woman. Yeah, hmm. that's the girl. Yeah, so like, I didn't know that. I thought she was always a Spider Man uh, <laughs> anti heroine. Which, uh, given the plot of the 90s show version, would actually be fitting, at least from that angle, for Spider Woman. The whole, like, yeah. legacy of Captain America deal. And then, you know, becomes a part of the secret agent plot. Like, yeah, that possibly could have worked somewhere. But, yeah. <laughs> it's true. True. Yeah, she was uh, originally meant to be introduced as a Spider Woman villain, but Marv Wolfman. Mar- Marv uh, Wolfman. Who, <laughs> Wolfman, sorry. <laughs> uh, he, he created her, her concept when he was working on Spider Woman, but then decided to move over to the Amazing Spider Man and thus uh, moved the concept over to Spider Man. Uh, Good choice, and, uh, Marv. Yeah, then. Uh, <laughs> based her off of a Tex Avery cartoon called Bad Luck Blackie. And Oof. <laughs> I have no idea what that is. You know, I should probably... It's a classic, I guess. I, I guess so. <laughs> Tex Avery. Marv not, was all not in exactly for that, a, Not exactly a title you can get away with now. <laughs> I'm assuming it's mm. about a black cat? Or... Yeah, I assume so. I would hope that, so. That, that too. <laughs> <laughs> All right, looking this up, a black cat with the ability to bestow bad luck protects a small kitten from a mean-spirited bulldog. Mm. Well, there so you go. This is you all this, like Tom and Jerry. Bulldogs taking on all their jobs in America. <laughs> dang bulldogs. Yeah, it's a cool inspiration. Yeah. I can definitely see. Like, I definitely knew the bad luck connotation because, yeah, it's definitely like a big superstitious yeah. Yeah. story. Luck manipulation. I did, you guys... <laughs> My brain is so foggy that I didn't put two and two together until a few hours ago. That's all right. When I was reading about it. I didn't really know the other stuff uh, at all. So that that is impressive. Her having, yeah, her having the subconscious ability to uh, give bad luck to her adversaries. Yeah, that's cool. I had no idea because now it makes sense. Black, if you see a black cat cross your path, you have bad luck. (laughs) Exactly. I find it funny that they gave her eventually like the superpowers to give like bad luck to everybody else to where she has good. It's it's kind of like Domino in like mm. Deadpool yeah, to where like kind of. it, it, almost like the powers are like reversed to where yeah like, she like has everything bad- around her is affected but her so she, therefore she has an easier time. Domino right. just gets right. good so luck. Domino and, is like, the one. Yeah, Black Cat gives everyone else bad luck. Yeah, I want to see them fight now. Oh, I wonder if like the powers I wonder if their powers just cancel each other out so they're basically like super powerless and they just have to get in a cat fight to win. Oh man, you remember that uh series where uh Marvel would take different Marvel characters and pit them up together? Uh mm-hmm. like <laughs> one instance in particular that I'm thinking of is uh Captain America versus the human torch. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> someone, yeah, someone was like, familiar. how is Marvel going to do this? Like... <laughs> <laughs> and uh, that the show is canceled. <laughs> Thanks for watching. <laughs> yeah, so that's mainly her origin, which I think is pretty freaking cool. I think in the 90s version, uh, it was basically the same, except Kingpin gave her the choice. I think, okay. He blackmailed Black Cat because he had her dad and he's like, you're going to be a super soldier and fight Spider-Man. And she was like, oh, don't kill my dad. And so she <laughs> she became Black Cat with the those yeah. superpowers. So she be- basically became like a, a super, you know, super strength and agility. And I mean, the big difference is also that, that she was they... rich beforehand as well. Like, <laughs> that too. She was like this rich girl that Peter knew. <laughs> How do like the Marvel writers in the writing room is like? How do we make her different from Catwoman? How about we make her and hold and hear me out. We make her rich. <laughs> oh. Bingo! Like she was so. just like a normal rich girl that Peter was dating, and basically, I guess there when Stacy in a way, saying that she was like the blonde girl opposite Mary Jane in that series. Uh, in the nineties. Yeah. Uh, I don't think. I don't want to say they were dating because uh, I don't well, want yeah, to say no, like, they two weren't years dating. ago, but like they were definitely like, interested in each other. Yeah, the whole thing yeah. was that like it was mm-hmm. mainly like study date and like, yeah. you know, 
Felicia is just way out of Peter's his league because, again, he's rich here. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Peter Parker. Quote unquote study dates. <laughs> yeah. What are they studying In exactly? Room. What are Anatomy. they studying? <laughs> We're acting like we're the concerned parents here. <laughs> <laughs> what are you studying, Peter? <laughs> <laughs> nothing at me. Nothing at me. Just, just normal, <laughs> normal school things, and me. <laughs> just normal Spider-Man thing. I mean, school things. <laughs> we're, we're learning about spiders. Spider, spider school things. <laughs> okay, Peter, I believe you. You have fun with the spiders over there. You have fun with your girlfriend. <laughs> Man, I wish she was my girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> so she's got like superhuman strength, agility, balance, and super, like, uh, not supervision. I was going to say supervision. <laughs> <laughs> she can uh, see faster. I, I think she did get those just for the cat theme, I think, but I'm not sure. Yeah, so uh, it was originally, she was just uh, skilled in hand-to-hand -hand combat and uh, stronger and then given more like cat-like powers. And then uh, there was, oh, I was reading something where black cat's powers, I was reading about her powers. Intermission. <laughs> like really it was it was a fun idea like when we now live in the days of like the mcu for instance or like the ultimate comics where the hulk is like a successor to super soldier serum of captain america and now we have like this cartoon where like it was black cat of all people who was <laughs> I know, right? that was pretty interesting yeah i i need you to be a super soldier why me i i need some kind of lackey <laughs> Oh my god. You can, you can uh, do a flip. I was like, okay. Haha, -ha, you fool. Now I definitely want you as a super soldier. <laughs> uh, it was a genius plan or, or fist. You know, Peter was already feeling and bad that, like, Felicia was richer than him. So, you know, <laughs> you know, she has the cooler powers than him. So. As I was scrolling, you know, looking for this, I came across this Whoa. Marvel manga verse. Yeah, the manga verse. It's awesome. She is cybernetically enhanced, I'll say. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely enhanced, I'll say. <laughs> I knew that was coming. Uh, God damn it. <laughs> but uh, Strange Days is not the first time that she's both wear wore this outfit and was cybernetically enhanced. Um, <laughs> I was going to say, because they, I, I know like at least one thing, like they did that in like one of the video games. Edge of Time. time. Edge of Time. Yep. To where he's like, hey, uh, like Peter Parker like makes like this almost like immortal push like a, a future evil peter parker oh, yeah. creates an army of younger black cat clones in the future to keep him company in his depressive evil state um, <laughs> yeah I mean, that, that's definitely there, not right? concerning <laughs> yeah. yeah it's just one of those things you know but uh you know th this isn't weird th this guy totally is an ambiguous villain <laughs> <laughs> I find it hilarious that like it shows in the game that Mary Jane is his true love. Right? Yeah, the, then, there's like, the whole thing of my life is Peter. meaningless without her. He's like, <laughs> uh -huh. yeah, Black and Cat. then like in the future, in, in the future, he clones Black Cat and makes a whole army of them. He's like, oh, I'm gonna miss Mary Jane so much. Uh, <laughs> give me a second, uh, Black Cat. Hi, <laughs> <laughs> give me a second, Black Cat. One through twenty three. <laughs> oh, I miss you, Mary Jane. Well, oh well. Hey, Black Cat. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> uh, what what game? What game is uh uh what console was that game? Fire like? Edge of Time was for uh, PS3 and Xbox 360. The Wii. Yeah, and, PS3. Um, yeah, oh, I think it was, the Wii? yeah, it was on the Wii as well. I played it. Mm -hmm. so, you know, yeah, it, yeah. it was definitely playable. The NES, you know, the Atari. It's on everything. Oh, <laughs> okay, yeah. not for that one. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it was a fun that's game, a, even a... if, yeah, the black cat portion was problematic as hell. <laughs> Very weird. <laughs> All right, I found I found what I was initially looking for. Uh, going back to her power with uh, bad luck, Doctor Strange tampered with that and uh, removed the bad luck abilities. Yeah. But it endowed her with more cat-like abilities, like yeah. night vision and retractable claws. Nice. So that's 
that's pretty cool. I would take yeah. the <laughs> I would take the more cat like wait, features. Wait a minute, wait a minute. So did he actually do this like when she was still kind of being a bad guy for Spider Man and the more recent Amazing Spider-Man comics? No, isn't that is that in the Black Cat comics that that happened? Yeah, I think it happened recently. Considering that's mainly when yeah. she's interacting with Doctor Strange. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, I'm, I must be getting my comics messed up then. Well, you guys would have more experience than I would. The Spectacular Spider-Man One Sixteen and Web of Spider-Man Volume Two Number Eleven mm. as a uh, sources here. All right, so it wasn't Spider-Man. Yeah, because uh, cause, yeah, Doctor Strange has appeared in a few Spider-Man stories. So. Yeah. There's them. To be honest, there. I love the idea of Black Cat and Spider-Man. <laughs> I was I was totally growing up. You know, when you watch the Tobey Maguire movies, you like you root for Toby and MJ. More like you feel bad for Toby Maguire's Peter Parker. Uh, yeah, I said Toby instead of Peter. You need some counseling. <laughs> That's just how synonymous they are in my brain. Peter and MJ to get together, and then you know, as you grow older, you realize, oh wow, um, MJ. They're problematic as hell. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, MJ, you're. I'm gonna put this in the most polite way I can possibly think of, but you're kind of a bitch. Yeah, and then. I was like, oh, well, at least we got Black Cat. <laughs> <Go>. <laughs> yeah, it's cool. Well, like I mean, having uh, having like a character you, like, you know, like Peter's Peter's love life is mostly like sort of surrounded by like, you know, a civilian life. But like, it's kind of cool, like having like somebody that sort of interacts with Spider-Man in that way, which really makes her unique. She's not like the only one necessarily, but, you know, it's cool. Like yeah. that Spidey has like, you know, <laughs> like she's the, one of the most recurring ones for sure, because yeah, they share yeah. like a massive connection to the yeah, yeah. There's a lot of what a cool and wholesome interactions there. Well, speaking of Tobey Maguire, I mean, if you played the movie tie-in game, a quote-unquote movie tie-in um, <laughs> game of Incredible. Spider-Man Incredible. Two, um, <laughs> that's where that version of Tobey Maguire's Peter Parker meets uh, Black Cat for the first time. Yeah, it's pretty cool. It's, it's just yeah, during the whole arc of like their divide and their relationship, where in this version of the movie, like when MJ was just getting with uh, J. John Jameson's son John. He's just like, screw or you, I'm just going to date Black Cat now. <laughs> <laughs> that would... like the video game, I guess, kind of opens up more often <laughs> for him. Mm-hmm. So... I, I was really upset that, like, nothing happened, really, in the game. I guess, like, Black Cat in the video game, she's, like, trying to, like, convince uh, Spider-Man to be, like, a little more outgoing, a little, loosen up a little bit, which he kind of does. But, like, nothing takes off with them, even though, like, she's, like, totally, like, throwing herself all over him. He's like, uh, <laughs> but Mary Jane, oh even though she's gosh. barely in this game. <laughs> Mary Jane. <laughs> Mary Jane. <laughs> yeah. I mean, this, this kind of trend continues with, like, the movie tie-ins, though. Like, it, it just ended up being, you know, a pretty standard arc of Black Cat that never really went anywhere in any of the games. Uh, even when we transitioned to Andrew Garfield a little more recently um, with his titles like Black Cat was in that one too uh, only difference though is that she was a straight up bank robber with probably some murders on her hands um, <laughs> we're getting so. what, what's a little what's a little murder between friends exactly uh. <laughs> so that was, that was a bit weirder um, in terms of uh, the flirting of uh, Black Cat that uh, contact but, uh, like, yeah, either way, it never went anywhere because, like, yeah, in that movie the universe, of course, the canon relationship was Gwen uh, in the Amazing Spider-Man films. So it's more glaring with the second one where, you know, she's supposed to be dead. <laughs> and, um, and like, yeah, at that point, Black Cat is the, uh, the option, the only one available. And they still continue with that same arc of, like, well, I just got to stay single, Felicia. <laughs> there is only Black Cat. Yep. Yeah. Even when she was the only possibility, that they literally killed the only other one off. Um, <laughs> yeah. I guess you have to do, Black Cat. <laughs> well, even then, like, he still went, nah, no, Felicia. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, Felicia. God damn, like, the last people on Earth, and he's like, eh, no thanks. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm just sitting there like, this is peak woman. 
<laughs> in front of you. Yeah. <laughs> like, the only one that, Peter, that actually, like, you? <laughs> gives you the damn option is in the video game Web of Shadows, and even then, it's like your typical bad ending video game possibility. <laughs> Yeah. But like you can no, hook up with so Black Cat, bad. but you have to like end the world to do so. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, but yeah. like, it's funny enough, it's so bad, you actually have to make Spider Man choose to choose Black Cat. Yeah, you as the player yeah. have to influence his actions to make I him know. do this. <laughs> you can't just have a Spider Man Otome Peter. game. Mm hmm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the, the true heroes of Spider-Man and Black Cat are the Rule 34 artists. <laughs> <laughs> Where's the lie? <laughs> I'll wait. I'll wait. I'll wait for any objections. That's what I thought. No, when I think of, like, goals, she's goals, for sure. Exactly. Not, not really her personality. Goals no. of life. Her, her assets. Her, yeah, her assets, yes. <laughs> her uh, stature, if you will. Um, <laughs> I know she's confident and she's clever and it like it always seems like she's 10 steps ahead of Spider-Man. Like she always yeah. manages to slip away, which I always loved about her and any other femme fatale in general. That actually reminds me, I forgot which comic book this was in, but I've seen it, like, all over the place, like, Reddit, iFunny, whatever. But, like, she does, like, this thing to, like, trick him, because, like, she's ca he's caught her. And uh, she's like, oh, I was only stealing this because I wanted to get for you. It's like, wait, what do you mean steal this? And, like, she gets on her knee, and then she, like, opens up a oh, yeah, and yeah, he's got yeah. a ring. <laughs> and he's, he's like, wait, wait, what are you doing? And then she trips him, and then, like, she, like, yeets herself off of a building. He's like, ow, my leg! Oh, my feelings apparently that was like <laughs> that was actually like a tribute to the batman cat one like proposal um uh, like it was literally a spoof on that one uh which was clever <laughs> there is actually uh one where she fakes like they get married like as like a cover or whatever and they they fake their wedding to like get into like something it's pretty cool yeah around the same time as well <laughs> but does she actually like convince herself that it's actually real uh, no, it's like, yeah, it's just covered. <laughs> Pretty cool. No, so it's Spider-Man who convinced himself it was real. What? <laughs> no, they... <laughs> of course, yes. yes. <laughs> Let's go with that, yeah. <laughs> I was about to say, where the hell's the drama? <laughs> it's no drama if everyone mutually understands and, like, uh, you know, exactly. part of the lives. Like, this is cover, right? Yeah, absolutely cover. Totally. The end. Uh... All Spider-Man drama <laughs> over. Uh. And now that we just have married, a little still. more flavor yeah. in this. <laughs> exactly. You gotta have that flavor. You gotta have all the flavor. What were they cooking? Because I need a little bit more spice to this story. And of course, one of the best <laughs> answers when it comes to the whole Spider Man relationship drama with Black Cat is why not both? <laughs> Which is <laughs> one of the recent things with uh, like Jed McKay's uh, ideas of, of like Black Cat, where like, yeah, Mary Jane and Black Cat just put aside their differences. And are now yeah, uh, best buds. Cool. Yeah, Jed McKay's Black Cat stuff is, is amazing. You know what? Would, you know this is what happened. This is the reason why uh, Spider Man doesn't hook up with Black Cat, and it's because uh, the comic book writers are afraid of another one more day. Like if he mm. hooks up with her and like marries her, he's like, oh, we gotta we gotta break well, him up somehow. Uh, Bye, continent. I yeah, I know <laughs> just the comic writer for this. Time to start a new issue. <laughs> well. It's also because, like, yeah, she she is, like, considered the unsteady option, too, with these yeah. relationships. Like, they can't mm -hmm. really get married and still keep the dynamic as spicy as it is. Like, the whole point with One More Day is to bring Spider-Man back to single status in order to continue this, like, cycle of Black Cat instead of the next. Where, like, you know, it looks awkward when he's married. Um. <laughs> that's That's a weird way to phrase it, but... <laughs> not inaccurate. I mean, kinda. Like, you know, you can't really have the dynamic of the sexy cat burglar, uh, you know, alternating uh, between Spider-Man and MJ's dynamic if, like, you know, he's married. Um, well, why not? <laughs> there's the flavor! Well, yeah, there's that, but, you know, I guess the people, you know, are pissed off at marriage stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody just out. hates marriage. Ugh, marriage? Cringe. I'm posting about this on X. 
<laughs> I want my lawyer. <laughs> uh, now, I think what would be cool, I just thought of this, sort of like, oh, I must be the first one. Yep, maybe. <laughs> maybe. I'm so original. Let's see what you're but, doing. Uh, if Black Cat, you know, uh, what is it? Spider-Man never figures out that her name is Felicia. Like, yeah. she does, he doesn't figure out her true identity. And mm-hmm. she obviously doesn't know who Spider-Man is, but they get together and then they're like, oh, these moves kind of seem familiar. And then it's like a will they, won't they. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a classic. I like that. Um, um, sorry. What do you mean by moves? <laughs> <laughs> okay, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Be very, very Fighting. specific. Fighting. Uh huh. Yeah, sure. Fighting. That that is one thing that yeah definitely is like you know a stage that is repetitive with Batman and Catwoman, where at least it makes mm-hmm. sense there. You know, he's the world's greatest detective. Of course, he's gonna find out he has her a secret. Right. <laughs> yeah. But like with wait, Black wait, Cat, this, like your haircut looks similar. Like why? Why <laughs> does Spider Man need to know that she's Felicia Hardy? <laughs> like why does that need to be the case? You know, he he probably would be just as clueless um, on that one. <laughs> in plenty of ways unless you know it's a situation like with the 90s Ooh, series where they Parker. you know uh, were study date uh, or stuff like that mm-hmm. or like he ha- he can't pick up on the, the hints that Felicia's putting down yeah <laughs> I mean this is Peter Parker we're talking about exactly <laughs> yeah exactly like, you know it's just typical <laughs> typical guy behavior indeed it freshens up that <laughs> dynamic where all. like yeah his biases have like allowed him to the truth yeah. Yeah. And the guy's just like, no, she's just being nice. <laughs> I mean, she has this weird thing to where, like, she rubs up against me for some reason, as if it's like, it's a cuddle thing, you know? Yeah. Yeah, it's just something that, you know, friends do, acquaintances even. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> We're just really good friends, you know? Oh, so yeah. you guys, like, no, we, we just hug. Jesus, Peter. <laughs> <laughs> like Harry just talking to Peter. He's like, Jesus, Peter, what the? <laughs> I even, even I wasn't this awkward when I was a kid and I was rich. Yep. <laughs> that, that would actually be really awkward, but hilarious if Peter just like talks about his antics with Felicia Hardy as Peter Parker and just like makes it up as a cover story without all the Spider-Man lingo of it. <laughs> So uh, last night I just uh, like chased this one uh, around uh, the city, and uh, you know I think things are going steady. <laughs> He's talking to Felicia Hardy with white hair and doesn't even realize that Black Cat has the same hair. <laughs> well, I mean sometimes it's a wig though, right? Yeah. yeah sometimes, sometimes it's a wig. Well, sometimes it's that her actual hair color. Yeah. yeah. Honestly, I think it should stay a wig. Yeah, just it to makes more conceal sense. Conceal her identity more. <laughs> it's like the only because... person with white hair around. Who could this be? Exactly. It's the same body. It's build Silver Sable. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, only Silver Sable is allowed to have natural silver hair. Yeah, because it's literally yeah. in the name. <laughs> or if Felicia just had like some way to activate her power. Yeah, like in the 90s then... show, where like for some <laughs> reason the Super Soldier Serum changes your hair color. And- <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah, that could that could be interesting. Hey, that's what happened. To Cap. I agree. Um, he wasn't actually blonde uh, in the '90s series. He just <laughs> transformed. <laughs> <laughs> he simply metamorphosized. I, I agree that like her hair should change, but like with the wig, is like that's gonna be like one hell. That must be one strong wig if like she's like <laughs> constantly like Robin Banks or something. I mean, that, that's kind of thing with many superheroes though. Like a couple of them have wigs that like you know behave in mm-hmm. superhuman yeah. manner or you know only get caught yeah. on things when you know the complications of the comic arise. You know, those are things. a hell of a technology. Well, they are. It just it just it just always bothered me whenever like you have like fucking Supergirl. And she's got like a brown like wig on. I mean, her right? wig is and, like, like her she... civilian identity, though, so that's kind of different. Yeah, but like, um, if like she runs a little too fast, um, and like, and she's trying to make it like seem like she's normal, it's like it giggles like whoop, and it's like, oh hey, uh, Kara or Kara, something's wrong with your hair. No, no, there's not. <laughs> and she's like just, just fixes it like super fast, like with a bobby pin. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, that, that's kind of yeah, where I prefer stuff that. like the television show where she just kind of styles it differently uh, and mm. leaves it at that. Yeah, if she, you know, had the silver hair, like yeah. if the 
mutagen like changed her hair color, then she could just put on a wig in her normal uh, civilian life. Yeah, yeah, that's a good point. That works. Yeah, I, I have the same idea, depending. Um, <laughs> well, Tori, well, why aren't you ready for Black Yeah, Cat, right, then? come on. I, you know, maybe I should. The slacker. <laughs> <laughs> I think you should. Yeah, Jed McKay's doing a good job of me after that, you know? Yeah. Plenty of time to yeah. get into the biz. Yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, I Jed also, McKay's done uh, with Black Cat right now, so yeah, there's an opening. Oh, okay. Well, I don't think, yeah, he <laughs> hasn't written for Black Cat in like a few years, I think, yeah. Yeah. I remember... Don't tell him that. Oh, he's just going to jump, like, right on that. <laughs> <laughs> well, he still does Black Cat stories. Just, yeah, team up books with his current stuff. Yeah. Yeah, she needs more merch, honestly. Yeah. Oh, I yeah. never see enough Black Cat stuff. I see That's all true. Venom. Yeah. I see so Spider-Man. Obviously Venom. Spider-Man. Sp- wait, there's Spider-Man merch? What? What? Yeah, it's one of the stuff that what? appears in the movies, of course. So, yeah. Yeah, so, yeah, since she has another movie for- appearance, that's, yeah. That's probably Wait, one of the reasons. My Spider-Man merch. Wait, Avi Arad, who's that? <laughs> Avi, we got a we got a proposition for you. You ever heard of Black Cat? <laughs> but yeah, I mean, I think she maybe deserves her own like spin-off, uh, maybe a show. Ooh, yeah. I don't wanna yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't wanna I mean if Silk and Spy War are getting Amazon shows like Black Honestly, Cat. yeah, like that would be really interesting. Like this sort of like crime like show with like a really smart criminal and like figuring out how to like rob different things or whatever. Be cool. Yeah, I mean, if Loki can have his own spin off show. Yeah. Well, that's because they found like the perfect person for like women to like go crazy for at conventions. Uh, true. We haven't exactly <laughs> found a woman yet for like everyone to like go nuts for. We, we have. <laughs> yeah, we have Black Cat. Yeah. That's like. <laughs> Don't, don't you guys know it's bad to make women sexy? Yeah, it's it's bad when women be women. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I was gonna. You're say, being a woman. I was, what did I tell you about that? I was going to Apparently, say that. after the release of Madam <laughs> Web, that the Silk Show is apparently getting yeah. <laughs> wait, wait, wait a second. <laughs> Which you know, it's like, yeah, I don't it's know. Fun. How that wording is that's just... that's kind of gross yeah <laughs> no it's funny that you mentioned that because like with madam webb like uh i i had no idea who the hell uh sydney sweeney was and i looked it up it's like wow she's like really popular especially like on the modeling mm-hmm. side it's like oh yeah let's just make her look like a nerd and like we'll just <laughs> cover up everything it's like yeah uh, uh so these people are supposed to do black cat yeah no 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 immediately no shut it down <laughs> terminate sony <laughs> <laughs> you can save the animation side. Everything else is gone. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sony, you've lost your privileges oh. to make live action movies. Okay. <laughs> Go back to the Spider Verse already. <laughs> um, oh, oh my God! I, I, I wish I had that. Power. <laughs> I, I wish I could like rub it in their face. Like, no, no, you're staying with animation. But, but, but no, I know. There's no, no such no, thing as live action. <laughs> Yeah, the not only here. thing you get is you the, the uh, Donald Glover. Your time cameo. has passed, old man. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Yeah, your exception is Ghostbusters, people. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, just wait, wait to see if that actually becomes profitable. If it doesn't, I, I, I kid you not, they're gonna just like run into the shadows. Like, um, with Spider Man, guys, there's the new across the the, the Spider Verse movie. <laughs> um, uh, beyond it. It's like Batman Beyond. You guys like Batman, right? Well, we have Spider Man, and look who who's gonna be in it. Black Cat. No, no, put her put her back in the box, <laughs> back in the box right now. I mean, that's one thing that I don't think has really been done too much as yet. Miles and uh, Black Cat uh, hmm. stories yet, but that is also an interesting friendship, though. Is is the other side of the Spider Verse train? Cindy and uh, Black Cat. They also have a little dynamic. Mm-hmm. Uh, oh, Cindy Moon. Uh, pretty yeah. cool. Yeah, Cindy yeah. Moon. Like, it's kind of one of her first friendships within, like, the superhero world. Uh, like, considering that she, like, was separated from the rest of society. So, yeah. True. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that was a, that was a bit disturbing how they uh, kind of made Spider-Man and Cindy Moon first meet. Because I actually bought the comic book and when they introduced uh, Cindy mm-hmm. Moon. I'm like, oh, interesting. So there's, like, another Spider-Person. And they're making out. Yeah. And they can't stop. And then, nope, they're going. And there, there they go again. Hey, you oh, know, oh boy. it's kind of hot, though. <laughs> kind of hot. Not going to lie. I'm, 
Um, Tori, uh, we just we just we just talked about this. Uh, you're not allowed to be doing women stuff. Remember? Aww. <laughs> <laughs> like that was the interesting part, though, with Black Cat being introduced to her is that like yeah, the most sexually provocative character, and she's the one that like introduced Cindy to like genuinely like human friendship of just like you know Aww, hanging awesome. out, and having fun, and more yeah wholesome adventures. Yeah. Like well, well, that's actually studio. that's that's a very ironic that you mentioned that because Black Cat introduces Cindy Moon into the wholesome stuff, and Peter Parker is the one to do the exact opposite. <laughs> they got uh, my house, and then uh, our relationship is going to be totally ambiguous to all my friends and family. Oh my gosh! <laughs> yeah, like like Black Cat is like so. This is how friends go out by getting ice cream. Oh wow, this is so sweet. And Peter Parker's this. Is a penis. <laughs> Thank I you, knew Dan. You were say that. <laughs> <laughs> Even he regrets it by now. Yeah, too. Yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> Dan yeah, Swan and, always and then immediately him. goes. Yeah, <laughs> and then after he feels bad about it, what does he do? He the goes same and thing. Whines about missing Mary yeah. Jane. <laughs> Mary, oh, Jane. Mary Jane. I didn't. I shouldn't have done that. Now I'm thinking about Mary Jane. And those two also have a fun friendship now. MJ and Black Cat just like hanging out. Yeah, I do like. Uh, yeah. That the idea of that dynamic. I know that they have a comic. Yep. Mary Jane, Jane and Black Cat. Together. Mary Jane and Black. Yep. Here we go. I wish I. And like, more, uh, it, it allows them to uh, really like get down yeah. to business as like individuals, <laughs> like to develop each, uh, as each other or, or as characters rather than just the love interest of Spider-Man, which, like, yeah, is useful, because then, like, yeah, you're able to invest with them more when they are a love interest of Spider-Man. Uh, yeah. So, <laughs> do you have any interesting or favorite Black Cat comic books? Uh, Thanks for, like, blacked out there for a second, I'm sorry. A first sec- no, I thought my internet went out. Um, uh, me, uh... No. <laughs> uh, I, oh. I like, well. I like, uh, I, I should say I, I'm ignorant. <laughs> so I, I don't have a favorite because I haven't actually picked up a physical copy of anything Black Cat, which is blasphemous, I'm aware. But uh, yes. <laughs> every other, <laughs> every other medium of her that I've seen her in, my favorite, like I said, is the 90s. Yeah. Muscly strength. Well, you're in luck because I just so happen to have a Black Cat uh, spinoff comic book. Um, Which one? Are is you it? guys uh, familiar with the character Hellcat? Yes, indeed. Yes. Uh, yes. Walker. Yes. Yep, Patsy Walker. Well, fantastic. So, um, I'm going to. I'm not read off, but I'll give you a little <laughs> read. It, read uh, the entire breakdown of the story. Yeah, yeah. yeah the, I'm going to try my best imitating every single person. <laughs> oh, I know I'm, her. I'm, yeah. For, forgive me if my uh, sexy cat lady voice uh, comes <laughs> off a little too masculine. Um, no, I'm kidding. Um, so this short story is actually, yeah, it was actually my first uh, introduction into Black Cat mm. uh, solo wise. Because um, what I have here is a, I'll probably find a picture of it later, but it's called Spider-Man Family, which oh, is like a yeah, um, yeah. short uh, collection of Spider-Man stories, which is funny because it's like, it's a pretty it's pretty thick and it was like only like five bucks um but it's got quite a lot of stories in here um one of the first introduction i saw of black cat is like when uh peter parker still has the venom suit and um it knocks him out and uh so venom's kind of like hopping all over the place as spider-man and he runs into black cat and she's like only in here for like a little bit and she's like what are you doing spider no one ignores a black cat and he just it, it just hisses at her and it leaves <laughs> um but following immediately after that is a story um all about black cat to where she breaks into the uh natural history museum uh i want to say yeah chicago um because that's where they have sue over there um, it's titled Hellcat and Black Cat in Catfight. Ooh. So what happens is, is that Black Cat, and the, she looks much better in this one, let me tell you. Oh, you guys watching the video, just you wait. <laughs> um, now, she breaks into the museum, and she's tippy-tapping all around, uh, doing gymnastics and backflips and whatnot. Uh, there's, like, lasers, and she put like mirror. She puts mirrors on her wrists and her ankles to, and, like, does a little mm. uh, search soleil through them. Right. And she makes it to a spot to where it's like in the Egyptian 
part of the museum. Well, this is all happening. She's being stalked by Hellcat because Hellcat is under the assumption that she's there to steal something. So they get into a little cat fight, no pun intended. Um, but this little cat fight turns into a big uh, Russell toss because they're like fucking throwing each other <laughs> against uh, museum property, breaking stuff. Hellcat goes over to Black Cat's bag and she finds nothing but like the mirrors that she used to avoid the lasers and some tape. It turns out that Black Cat was just there to put a little business card that says, and I quote, your security stinks. Want to improve it? Call me at 555-BCAT. <laughs> so it's go. just a <laughs> just a little business card <clears throat> that she just wanted to leave there. So Hellcat sees what's going on and uh, somehow, miraculously, uh, she tied up um, Black Cat in a very, uh, let's say, professional way. Um, <laughs> and so... She does have, like, coming in hell to... enhanced powers, though, so... Uh, uh... I wouldn't put I, I don't know down about this version. Badly. I don't know about this version, but she's definitely got some rope. Um, <laughs> which, uh, rope power. Naughty, naughty, Hellcat. Um, make me a little suspicious there in a good way. Anyway, um, so she picks up Black Cat. They run out of the place, and she's like, What are you doing? He's like, Oh, I, I just wanted to leave my business card here. And she's like, Well, this is my city. I, this is my Chicago. Um, Black Cat's like, All right, fine. I'll, maybe I'll go head up to New York and see what's over there. And she's like, And also, you must be like new to this whole crime finding thing, right? He's like, Wait, wait, what are you talking about? How can you tell? It's like, Well, because experienced superheroes don't leave their wallets in the back of their pockets, <laughs> Miss Tris Walker. <laughs> or, no, Patsy Walker. Um, I, I keep forgetting the, the, the Patsy thing. But that's about the end of the story hmm. as she zips away, kind of like Spider-Man. But cool. short little story, yeah. little funny. What a power um, move. Sorry I spoiled it. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> Such a Chad move. Um, oh, God damn, I need to see Black Cat, but like with like the female Chad <laughs> face. Oh, God. Giga Chad. G yeah, Giga Chad. Um, it, and if there are any artists that are listening to this um, with the Giga Chad, uh, Five O'Clock Shadow is optional. No, um, not Rule necessary. Rule Thirty Four is uh, Black <laughs> Cat's friend, as necessary. you said earlier. <laughs> <laughs> I say do a version with and one without. There. Okay, there you go. Please, everybody. But yeah, this is just a short little story. That was my first introduction to Black Cat. And then mm -hmm. um, I started becoming obsessed with her secretly that I told no one for oh. years because I kept looking for Spider-Man games <laughs> and properties that had Black Cat. Your secret them. safe here. Don't worry, pretty much yeah, every yeah. title made by b Nox had Black Cat in some manner. Yeah, I trust you guys. Yeah, we wouldn't tell anybody. anyone. Oh yeah, totally not. But uh, yeah, short little yeah. story. Uh, what you guys yeah, think? Yeah, that's some good stuff. I liked it a lot. Yeah. Yep. It was short and sweet. Uh, I'll try to see if it's like um, one of those like free comic book uh, sites. Art is pretty awesome, um, in, in, especially in a few areas. But uh, yeah, <laughs> pretty great. I definitely want to read more uh, Black Cat comics other than just her punking the Chicago security department over at the <laughs> museum. Oh, yeah. Not bad. Not bad. And this was like... I think I got this comic book when I was 13, so I was definitely questioning things. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Oh, yes. I'm actually, I'm going to... Yes, I'm sorry. You're... No, I was going to ask if you guys have any yeah. other, like, other Black yeah, Cat yeah, movies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've actually got to go, but um, I just want to say, read the Jed McKay run. It's great. <laughs> Do it or I'll come to your house and beat you up. All right. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> <laughs> um, I say, I guess, in one humorous Black Cat story is that the 90s show is, I guess, the first actual, like, full-on story medium of Black Cat that I experienced. The first time was in the video games, in fact, with um, the DS version of Web of Shadows. Oh. Where, funny story, because of the pixel uh, all limitations, Black Cat basically blended in into the symbiote-infested environment. So she basically just looked like two pieces of white cloth just, like, jumping around everywhere. Um. <laughs> I got on the screen. I was just like, oh, this is one of your love interests. I have. <laughs> that was like my first introduction to her, like of all time. Like, like that was uh, uh, Spider Man. We gotta, we gotta fight the skin tight, uh, almost latex looking people. Quick, call in the skin tech, skin tight, uh, latex looking woman. 
But why? Why we gotta fight her? I know, this is very sad. We have to hurt. Sometimes we have to hurt the ones we love. <laughs> like, she was mostly brought in as, like, the whole thing of, like, you know, oh, you have the allies when you pick the symbiote bad options and you have the, Aven the Avengers if you want to, like, pick, you know, the classic red suit. Yeah, yeah, like, some of the Avengers being, like, was it Black Widow and... Black Widow. That, that's it. Luke Cage, Moon Knight. Wolverine. Uh, and Wolverine, yeah. Yeah, those are the options. But those are you, you team up with, then you deal with that. <laughs> and, like, yeah, you get, like, Spidey's foes, like, generally when you are, uh, you know, picking symbiote options, including Black Cat, where you get to uh, make out with her in your symbiote mask face. Oh, yeah. And there's nothing I love more than uh, kissing someone I really like with a mask on. Yeah, that, that is the dream. <laughs> yeah. This dream so hot. Yeah, the, cl the, the cloth over the mouth. You know, obviously, you know, or, yeah. you know. Which is why, yeah, the better incarnations are the ones where, like, yeah, Spidey, you know, takes in mind to take a bit of it, the mask uh, moved up before making out with people. <laughs> I, need, I need my silk kisses. Yeah, exactly. Anyway. It's for, for Cindy Moon, Felicia, and uh, I guess, you know, whatever latest love interest of the week uh, is. Yeah, Peter Parker has it so hard. <laughs> Yeah, he's living the hardest life. Yeah. Hardest life. God damn it, I Tori, didn't even what was... that. <laughs> <laughs> Terry, what was your first introduction to Black Cat? Pretty sure it was uh, the Spectacular series, uh, because I was introduced to that first. So I watched the Spectacular Spider-Man uh, show. Did, did some more research and then watched the 90s cartoon where it was actually my favorite iteration. Of even Spider-Man in general, I think it's my favorite. Yeah, I blame you. Christopher Daniel Barnes, you know, pretty legendary yeah. stuff. So. Get back here, Shocker! <laughs> Shocker! <laughs> you can't escape me! I'll oh, chase you to the ends of the earth! <laughs> I mean... That's, that's definitely gotta be on our next panel. Yeah. <laughs> He's he really went all out, but uh yep. was also my first introduction to Madam Web. Uh, uh yep. the 90s cartoon. Uh, it was I also think most you know, people I was. Yeah, it was the world's introduction with Joan Lee uh playing uh, like uh, Madam Web. Yeah. So I think anything Spider Man probably oh man. Now that I said spectacular Spider Man I'm kinda torn. <laughs> yeah, Spider Man's pretty good. But yeah, that, that was my first uh, introduction to Black Cat was a spectacular Spider-Man. Interesting. Fine choice. So, yeah, I really like Black Cat. <laughs> uh, I think if she were to be seen on, uh, you know, in pulp, uh, pop culture, I almost said pulp culture, uh, pop culture, I think the best would be either like an animated show or yeah just a show i think i think i would really benefit with her with that yeah if she was introduced as, as a as a tv series rather than her own movie though she definitely deserves a movie yeah it definitely suits episodic adventures because yeah the sony theme with her just would not really work as well considering that like yeah they'd escalate it to some big degree you know black cat fighting for you know the to save the world or something like that. Um, I turn mm -hmm. into some big you, blockbuster or something like that. If you had the choice, uh, who do you, who would you personally cast as Black Cat? Me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, of, of course. Of course. I'm selfish Sorry, like I, that. I should have <laughs> I should have expected more uh, the egotistical side. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> I honestly don't know. I don't know a lot of the new up and coming actors or actresses in the space. And I think... Um, That's good, neither do I. Yeah. If I did some more research and really thought about it, but I've really fantasized about playing Black Cat, even though I, I know I'm not objectively attractive. So <laughs> I think I could do a pretty good voice hey, of her. It could happen. It, I mean, it could. Could. Yeah, I'll, I'll do some more research and get back to you on that. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, yeah, who knows? I would, uh, I'd be able to get into the, uh, the whole field. Um, Night's still young and all that. So, uh, that's, that's, uh, that about does it. Um, thank you for listening and thank you guys for 
joining me gush about Black Cat and also giving me some new information and uh, new storylines where, uh, you know, I, I, I know more about Black Cat and her relationship. Yeah, pretty awesome. Uh, I'll stuff with her. Not a problem. I will always gush about Black Cat. You, you can't stop me. <laughs> See, I, I, I want to gush about her. I just, I think she's really pretty. And honestly, she's like my, uh, you know how guys have like, you, I'm thinking of like putting a picture up on the wall and be like yeah, motivation, motivational motivation poster. Um, yeah. Look like that. Yeah. Guys have the Giga Chad. I have Black Cat. <laughs> <laughs> And I have Edward Norton. You just have like him on your walls all to become Edward Norton. Do it for him. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Uh, well, that about does it. It's been about an hour. Hope you all enjoyed. Uh, have a lovely rest of your day or uh, night or wherever, what, whatever day, part of the day you're listening to. But yeah, let's consider the audience for a second, you know. Um, they'll possibly be listening yeah. to that. <laughs> I mean, movie studios don't. Why do we have to? Uh, screw you all. Uh, you all l- live by our time zone. <laughs> Let us know in the comments uh, what your favorite Black Cat story is. So those who may not be as educated like myself can go and read and uh Hypothetically. On uh, obviously, we were all us, experts, uh, though. You know, don't read into this. Um uh, but hypothetically, if someone <laughs> were to go into those comment sections of, uh, anonymously, they'd be able to find the answers if you help provide them to this unnamed hosting individual. Yes. And uh, once again, uh, join our Discord, the Happy 616 Marvel Family Podcast. Yeah, yeah we'd uh, like to have you by. Where we do stuff like this. We chat about a bunch of stuff <laughs> Marvel-related. Of course. And uh, you'll be hearing from me uh, soon. <laughs> I'm trying soon. to say, like, I'll, I'll be appearing in future episodes as well is what i was trying to say i i had a little hiatus but i'm i'm here you are here <laughs> so am i not mostly mentally but some <laughs> solidarity there in that field bye-bye bye-bye bye-bye